Hello, all you beautiful viewers. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I am actually playing a deck that I requested on the Discord. Before I went to bed yesterday, I made a post and I basically said, hey, send me your sweetest decks. And when I record this offline session, I'm going to pick one of them and I'm going to play it. And the one that caught my attention was this Ziggs Kaelin Tri-Beam deck with Shurima, hosted by God. There were a ton of very, very cool concepts. Let me uh, actually show some of them really fast. Um, so this one was a Soraka Terra Gelly deck that I actually really liked. It looked pretty fun, even though the ratios were kind of all over the place. Um, let me misclick past like 20 times. There was a... This one, Zoe Zix, landmark deck with Arsenal. It had Spiral Stair, Star Tip Peak, Rockfall Path. Looked really cool too. I uh, I was really close to picking this one, but I, I uploaded like three Targon decks in a row. So I uh, chose not to. And then there was also this Katarina Garen Jarvan Elite deck with some rallies that looked really sweet. But I ended up not going for that one either. But honestly, just... Some of these requests or some of these submitted decks were so cool that I it, it was very hard to choose. Let me do this. This, uh, this looks a little bit rough. Because opponent, uh, let's see, like, no, a good lurk start. Yeah. It's not Rek'Sai, so always lets me think it's Pike. I will play. Oh, that's kind of rough. I, I, if I play Ziggs. No, I don't get punished by anything if I play six. This is better to get the landmark for that. I'm gonna attack anyway and use this. We didn't get our tri beam. I should have probably mulliganed for it even harder. Because tri beam could be pretty powerful. Another one drop. Okay, did that come from the left? Because that could be the, the card that was top deck. Tri beam? No tri beam. So we're gonna have to give up our Ziggs here. Right? Yeah, it'd be it'd be kinda kinda sus if we didn't. We're not looking great here. Let's see. We actually do have a pretty good turn here because we have six mana. So let's play. Let's play this. And then whatever opponent plays here, we're probably gonna. Oh. Yeah, unless they just have another one of those. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Double. Uh... Double Snapjaw is pretty brutal because we lost our Ziggs to it and we just lost another unit to it. But this is a potential of 5 damage. Pass me. Now if our opponent starts throwing out... Yeah, big Overwhelm dudes. It's gonna be a little less good. It wasn't Rek'Sai, that's great for us. We kill his board. The opponent has two cards in hand. The scariest thing is just straight up with the pike. Okay, pretty good. Caitlyn is not bad. Alright, we'll pass here. Because the play we can make is we can play Caitlyn. This is vulnerable. If there is a pike, it will also be vulnerable. Okay, they're also vulnerable. Interesting. I think the play might be this, though, right? Let's investigate. I'm just gonna play this. That would have been great, actually, if we had one more mana, because I would have been happy to pull this here and, and kill it. Alright. Would you look at 
We have to block here. Out of my way. <laughs> my what a rough game. Opponent drew extraordinarily well. So... That's pretty good. Um... I just have to play this. If there's another Jellfish, then we can surrender. Sadly. What? <laughs> okay, well, uh, there, there is that. Alright, we're not dead yet. Somehow. So we can use this. Kill you. And then we can... Shapestone the Caitlyn to kill here. And then we can block this. All right, we're still in it. My God, what a what a game from opponent though. If they if we don't draw a unit and our opponent does, then we're dead. It has potential to draw a unit. I need a unit here. Uh, it's a unit, <laughs> I guess. Okay, that's that's very good actually. Oh no, we're dead. It, it just had to be the overwhelm to kill us off, I guess, yeah. <laughs> Man, Lurk is so crazy sometimes when they draw like this. It's absolutely unethical. Just perfect curve from early into late without drawing champions, but still. Alright, GG. <laughs> Came pretty close. You have Karma. That's a great mother deck, right? That has to be a great mother deck. Okay, that's like good cards, but we need Tri Beam. I'll keep the Caitlyn. Give me Tri Beam. Oh yeah, there we go. Finally. All right. Quick hands make quick work. Feels good. The fact Caitlyn transformed into a. Uh, Three mana champion spell, also pretty good for tri beam decks. Nice to meet you. I'm Ima. All right, DJ dumbass, show me what you got. We have three Caitlyns. <laughs> oh, that's pretty good. I mean, for us, because we can just kill this. We also have mana for this, so we counterplay the Twin Discipline. Also, I am getting a haircut this Friday, most likely, because it's... God, it's, it's a mess. The area. That's right. Run! I desperately need a haircut. Okay, so I, I think this is actually fine, then. I guess I have no reason to do it afterwards. So that. Even though I guess this card doesn't do that much without the Mariah Great Mother in play or without the shuffled treasures. Still, getting rid of that. Oh, it's already at four. Okay. I'm gonna do it now before uh, my opponent gets the mana crystal. Five. Let's see. Should I be playing this? Yeah, I should. I kind of want to keep it because then next turn... We could be giving our opponent an action. Without this getting denied. It is at six. Okay, how close are you? Zero out of four. So we have three landmarks here. Fine. Well, what have we here? Seven. <laughs> That's a big tri beam. One step ahead. Yeah. I don't think we attack with this. You cannot win. I'll just wait for one of these flash bombs to come out. Water we'll just wait for two flash bombs to come out to kill this. 
one. At least it's on the right target. You're in over your head. Bananas? What form will the water take? Passing? The order rewards its fate. Oh, what? It still procs this, though. Oh my god. Okay, wait. I mean, we're... L no, but I want to use my tri-beam, though. Hey, yeah, but we don't have lethal yet, so... I I I'm gonna play this greedy, okay? Because this is pretty sweet. We're gonna play this. Okay, let's play that. Wait, are you leveled? Oh, oh. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I go from a complete low roll against Lurk to this high roll. Wait, that's six? Ten. Or one off lethal. Alright, come on, dude, play something. Yeah. Good. Great. Come on. Come on. Let me summon a nine drop here. Give me. Play another unit. Yeah. Perfect. What? Okay, here we go. What nine drop are we going to get? Let's see. Also, uh, I want to thank everybody for all the replies I got in that community post I made. I was looking for ideas to make a new video on, and I got so many of them. Like, a crazy amount. And I'm already starting, uh, I already started work on one of them <laughs> right now. Okay, that's not, that's an Ionia card, so that's a low roll. Yuck. GG. That, that was kind of a, uh, that was a stomp. Yeah, I am working on a new video now, and the video after that are going to be from the ideas that I got from that community post, so thank you guys. Aggro. I, I think I can't be too greedy for the tri-beam, right? Oh my god, this is the dream. Th you can't do better than a curve like this in Shurima. At all. It, it doesn't exist. That's a myth. If you think you can do a better curve than this, you're wrong. The Shurima curve kind of went from... What was it? It was the Sivir deck, right? I forgot what their three drop was. You guys remember that uh, that Sivir deck with Ionia? It was like Treasure Seeker one, Rock Hopper two. I forgot what the three drop was. Sus play. Um, and then on four it was Sivir, and on five it was Rune Runner. I mean, now this is a three drop. You get this killed, and then you play. Oh my God! On the perfect turn two. Okay, that's perfect, because I, was, I wasn't I was even sure what I wanted to block. I was going to block this anyway. This would have been free damage. It's too good. Yeah, uh, good luck dealing with this one. Let's see. Yeah, this is game winning. This is the curve. I believe I played the same type of curve in Mona Shrima. And it's literally why Mona Shrima was working so well. You're gonna take 10 here? Yeah, go ahead, take 10. It's the worst that could happen. I'm, I'm being a little bit cocky, so if we lose, I probably deserve it. Yeah, so that's Well, what have we here? That is also one down. So I think what we're going to do here... Uh, let's see. I think we need to tag the Gnar. We still have mana for you. But it's gonna be blocked by either one of these two, which I'm happy with. I think we might have to try beam the Zig though. Okay. Oh, 
Heal four. Not quite enough, is it? Let's do that instead then. Might have been worth just playing this. Not sure. It was a clean kill on the Nardo. It is. Our hand is still very good. Bit late, but it still works. I have no fast speed answers for anything. I am getting a call, and I will return that call when I am done here. Okay, Pokey Stick for you. This could be a fervent. Okay. That's quite a good one. <laughs> sure. So, I think the perfect draw here... Are you actually... Um, perfect draw here would be some kind of vulnerable thing. Exactly. Exactly! Clean game so far. Destiny, yeah, that doesn't do it. But this is lethal, right? They have no fast speed answers with no units on the on the board. I should be lethal. Yeah. Wow. Okay, Kato. Yeah, Kato carried for sure. Did you? Pretty clean win there. Alright, Nightfall. I, I, I really like Caitlyn against this deck. I would normally mulligan for the Tribeam very aggressively, but that's not something I can really do right now. Yeah. This is such a beautiful curve. Rock Hopper into either one of these. Perfect. Uh, I'm gonna attack anyway, I'm gonna push this 3 damage. Okay. Usually, opponents pass onto the Rolling Sands because they don't want their card to die for free. There is a good chance that a Diana comes out right now. So, pass here. I could play this, but it'll die for free too. There it is. I, I think I can play this. Dies. Um... I actually don't think I'd do anything here. No. Oh Taking three against Nightfall can be dangerous. But we'll manage. Fine. Regular pill cascade. Alright. Yeah, that's not one of my more important cards. Even though I would have uh, really liked to have Caitlyn on board. Flash bombs can do a lot against that card. Only a fool would enter battle unprepared. Find your own light within the darkness. That is a pretty spectacular hand for my opponents. But they could not break me. Guess we have to remove one of our mana gems for that. No way to save it. So two Dianas are gone. Wow, what a hand! Be serious? No way. That's the hand they have. Oh my god. Turning yourself in. That's gross, dude. That is one hell of a hand. All right. Red eight HP. Um, uh, I, I think I have to leave this 
Because this is something we cannot interact with at 3 HP. Like a pill cascade is bad right here. We, we can top deck another Caitlyn or a... Whatever champion spell is. Tilt over Peacemaker. Kill this. Third? Diana? Really? All three of them. That's pretty good. Oh my god. Oh my god. Now it's a Doom Beast. Get punished. Get. Get punished. What? No way. <laughs> three Dianas. I don't think so. I don't think so. Whoa. That's a deck right there. Uh, okay. I, I guess I could take two damage. Start with the Caitlyn. So LeBlanc, Swain, and Darius are like the faces of some of the cards like Guile, Might, and Vision. Right? Kind of interesting to build a deck around that, but I don't know what Draven is doing there. <laughs> Do I double Peacemaker this? Honestly, it's not that bad. Thanks to level up Caitlyn. It's time. Uh... Yeah, I can block this with Caitlyn and then play the new Caitlyn and then, you know, there, there, there is some chance that these get sniped off by the, the flash bombs. More. Could have probably shot that actually. Okay, give me some snipes. No snipes. Another day, another explosion. I don't know if Absolver is that good in this deck. Feels like uh, it doesn't really do that much. All right. Interesting. Okay, I, I really need this to get sniped by Flash Bob. It's really important. Oh, okay. I, I don't I don't care about the, the Caitlyn. I think the Ziggs was a bigger issue for the opponent. Oh, double flock. Yeah, that works. Okay, so yeah, now it's really important. Really, really important. That we get the flag. That was not a hand I would ever expect if you're playing cards like this. Bless. Thank you. Thank you, game. I wanted that. Okay. Oh, this could still mean I take so much damage here. Don't. Oh. It's always Smork. Never, never make that mistake. It's always just a Smork deck with double flock somehow. <laughs> yeah. That's a pretty good draw, I guess. I don't think my opponent has any cards in hand. Okay. Deals three damage. Uh, 
Uh, yeah. Okay. Hmm. I'm doing this and then I'm playing the shape zone on Zix, my opponent attacks. Oh, okay. Hello. So this will kill the Pharon and will make me take two damage, so I can survive one decimate. This is a very close game. It shouldn't make a difference. You have to open attack and get leap. I, I think actually there was a very good reason to use the ancient hourglass there. Okay. Alright. Make me sweat for it a little bit, but we, we got there. We actually did get there in the end. Did you? Try beam. Good card. Scouts. That cannot be an easy matchup. I really want to keep this and this, but it's only good with Endless Devout. So the Peacemaker is okay, because we're going to skip turn one and then turn two. If opponent plays the Sculptor, we're going to shoot it. Really need to kill the Sculptor. I'm not playing. Okay, play your Sculptor. Well, you gotta be patient. This is why. Well, we're gonna pass again. Because if there is a misfortune, we're gonna use Merciless Hunter. That is a lot of damage. Blessed is Morshan. We're playing this very patiently, but Scouts doesn't really mind that nowadays. They're more like all about that big finish with four Demacia. So we're kind of just trying to, you know, control, keep the board at a low unit number for them, and then we'll see if we can finish the game somehow. We're at 16 HP, so it's not not too bad. I am going to play this into the Merciless Hunter, and then a potential pickoff with the Waking Sands. We don't really have any win con, all, all we can really do is just try to control the board as much as possible. Every work demands a piece of ourselves. Let's see if that works. This is a this is a this is a committal though. I don't like this play that much. Okay, great. No sharps I played. No Rangers resolve. So whatever our opponent does here, there's a possibility we just deal with it. It's four damage. Would you look at this place? Not too good. Well, it's four flash bombs. If this gets sniped, very good. We deal with two sculptors. Yeah, that's actually just game losing there. Yeah. Scouts win, I think. Stop for one rally. Because now we're at four. We're gonna take four more next turn. Yeah, that's that's pretty powerful. down to six. Oh. Oh, okay, never mind. That's quite good. Quite, quite good. Alright, uh, we, we, we kind of got safe there. A little bit. Flash bomb to the rescue. This also has great blocking. Um. Uh, yeah. Alright. Wow. That's that's pretty good actually. Yeah. 
two cards in hand. Opponent can't attack here. Right. Okay. Caitlyn, thank you. I needed that. So what? Hmm. Okay, let's play this then. Let's see what opponent does here. This might be a greedy pass because if there's a rally now, it, it could honestly be pretty bad. There's a rally. Help. Help. So Zix is leveled, right? Think about this. I think it's better to play Caitlyn now to kill this, and then Zix kills this. Has to be the play. We need to trim this board down. That's the only way you lose to scouts if their board is big. Like right now, if they could play a. My shield is yours. Okay. That, that's that's honestly it's pretty it's pretty crazy that this is now a three four. The faded unit became a three four. Man. We guess we'll kill it. But if there is a sharp side on this, it's real bad. I can't do this, but nah. I, I, would, I would get blown out so hard there. This is still fine against a sharp side. If this is a sharp side, I mean... Well, it hasn't played a single sharp side. How likely is it that they have it? I think it's quite unlikely. What if it's a rally? Okay, I'm, I'm gonna risk it. Okay. Risk paid off. I, I should keep more attention of like hand tracking. Two more units. At okay. Flash bomb? Right here. Or here. Always no. forward. Damn, that's crazy though. Goes to seven. Okay, it's pretty funny that this now leaves the board though. That's that, that's all right. I don't mind that. Oh. Wait, what? What happened there? Not going back. Wait. When this strikes, it draws one and then shuffles. Wait. Are you? What? I'm not sure if I follow what happened there. But the opponent did draw a card because they had one card, correct? <laughs> Wait. Okay, it was draw one because of the Nexus Strike, and then they shuffled and died. It's actually just all upsides because I don't mind if my opponent has a two one. And again, it is elusive. I don't That's bizarre. Let's go for it. Let's attack me. What could go wrong? What could go wrong? What could go wrong? That's your plan. I just realized I'm not using a Caitlyn skin, even though I have like five of them. I think opponent left. And can you blame him after that interaction? <laughs> okay. Also, I promise that these mastery points are only from Talia Ziggs, okay? I... Most of it is from Talia Ziggs. I actually did get... <laughs> I did get Master in the in the first Battle City season. With, uh, with Ziggs Poppy. You know, before I realized how big of a problem Battle City was really going to be. <laughs> I guess. Yeah, opponent definitely left here. <laughs> G to the G. It's not even lethal. Oh, it is with this. Whatever. There we go. You know what? I really dislike laning against Caitlyn in League of Legends. Anyone else? Her range, her traps, it's all so annoying. I mean, I, I kind of am, like, I, I play a ton of Ziggs. He, he's one of my most played champions. I said it a lot, but I have, like, 10 champions to play a bunch. Oh, I... Opponent didn't even use... Let me use Rite of Arcane on the Caitlyn. Come on. Alright, GG.